and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders and bishops of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Akwaf. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. You know, this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Ratazah. This lesson will be edifying to someone. <laughs> and uh, I woke up this morning, you know, and I uh, was listening to uh, Elder Benat the Zakba, right? And Yahweh Ratazah, I'm going to leave the uh, link to this particular video in the description box. And uh, Baba Kishar, subscribe. But anyway. I was listening to him and he made a few good points in his video here, man. All right? All you all you all you reprobates, you Israelites, you guys that know that you Israelites and you're not teaching, you guys that run across the lessons, right? And you can't take rebuke. All you individuals out there that know you Israelites and you men, you still got long hair. All you women out there that know that you Israelites and you still being completely wicked. The Lord is going to destroy you individuals, man. See, see, you can you can hide yourself, right, from the men of the Lord. Right? You can try to make yourself seem like you like you this, that, and the third. Right? But hey man, that's a saying that I love to say, man. You can hide from us, but you cannot hide from the Lord, man. And you cannot escape judgment. You see that? You can't escape it, man. And that's great. It'd be a great humbling, right? A great humbling out there for you men and you women, man. It is. It's great. And even the phone had to chime in on that, man. You see, that's great. It'd be a, a, a hell of a humbling out there, man. Right? Because you know what the saying is, man. A hard head makes a what? Makes a soft ass, man. Right? You guys that's out there teaching and all of that. You know, and you breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, right? And a lot of you guys, a lot of you reprobate Israelite groups, you out here uh, teaching for filthy lucre, man. For filthy lucre. You guys claim to be so deep in, in the scriptures, right? Coming against the apostles, the men that taught you this truth. You wouldn't know the names. You wouldn't know nothing about the 12 tribes chart. You ain't know the breakdowns, but yet you come against the men that taught you this truth. How the hell does that work? That's going to be a great humbling, man. You see, because little do you know, you're not coming against those men. Right? Scripture tell you that, that we wrestle not against uh, uh, flesh and blood, but, but against principalities. A lot of you guys, you think you're coming against the men. You're not coming against the men. You're coming against Yahweh Shai. Why, Yahweh? You see that? So if, if you you false prophets, scripture talk about false prophets, man. You guys are selling French t-shirts, necklaces, garments, and all of that. The Lord is going to destroy you individuals, man. You guys are talking about cash apps and all of that. Nah, man. This thing is free, it was freely given to you. And they you should freely give it, man. Right? And this is how we know that this is how we know that you individual that the Spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. It's going to be a great humbling coming, man. I want to read this precept here. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 14. I'm going to start at verse 9. I'm going to read it in NLT, and it reads, And if a prophet is deceived unto giving a message, right? A lot of you guys out there, you are deceived, and you don't even know it, man. Still talk about that the MOTB is sin? Really? When you see it's more and more talk, you got Esau telling you that, that we're ready to go cashless. So what the hell do you think that's going to lead up to? But again, it's the Lord that deceived you guys, man. And if a prophet is deceived into giving a message, it is, it is because I, listen to this, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, have deceived that prophet. You see that? So you guys out there. You don't know how bugged the hell out you are because the Lord has deceived you to think that you are a man of the Lord. 
You got, you know, you got thousands and hundreds of people subscribed to you, right? But you're bugged out on the low. You see that? Few of them come to mind. Uh, a, a watchman for Israel, right? H O I. You know, a, uh, 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 you know, uh, I S U P K I U I C. The list goes on, man. Continuing on, I will lift my fist against such prophets and cr and, and cut them off from from the community of who of Israel. You said it's a Lord grade. Cut you guys off. You guys, you guys are going to be destroyed, man. A lot of you reprobate Israelite groups are getting ready to be dismantled. You don't know what the word means, look it up. A lot of you reprobate Israelite groups are getting ready to be dismantled, man. It's going to be a great humbling for you individuals out there, man. And you don't even see it. Because the Lord has deceived you to think that, that the Spirit of the Lord is dealing with you. And it's not, man. And you guys that follow these Israelite groups... And you come on the comment, what well, shallow arm up? Stay the hell away from us, man. Stay away from us, cause we teach uh, uh, differently what these other t uh, groups teach you, man. You want to go over here and listen to this group, and then come over here and, and and listen to us. You think you're getting away with something, but you're not, man. The Lord sees everything. Scriptures say that the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. Right? And when the sun shines, the light is everywhere. Well, maybe I can hide in the dark. Well, then you're in darkness there. You're wicked. You're black. And the Lord see all of that, man. Continuing on. Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 10 and it reads in the NLT and it reads false prophets right false prophets and those right who seek their guidance you see that so false prophets and you bug outs that run back to them and then come over here with us false prophets and those who seek their guidance will be punished you see that for their sins I ain't gotta go no further man Right, this is the main point that I want to grab here, man. Right, you false prophets and those, and you other people that, that, that be following them, coming on our comment boards, but then run back to them and come on their comment. Hey, hey, it's going to be a great humbling coming, man. Lord's great to do, uh, 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 do a lot of judgment out here, pass, pass out a lot of judgment for you individuals, man. You see that? So, you know, I just want to do this lesson here, something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem. I was inspired to do this lesson by listening to the elder, man. Right, you individuals out there, you ready to be destroyed, man. Least I pray and repent. And what you do in the darkness, right, don't think it is not going to come to the light, man. It's going to come. You see that? So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here, brothers and sisters. Until the next time I say, Shalom.